Hey guys, meteorologist Chris Tomer here. We're going to talk all about precipitation the month of June, and I want to show you what's happening right now. You can see it behind me. That is live radar. I'll take it full. Look at the circulation, this area of low pressure in uh, Utah right now. Let me mark it so you can see it. There it is, and everything's just rotating around it. This is not normal for June to have these big areas of low pressure and all this heavy precip in places across the West. I mean, this is going above and beyond what we would typically expect. Um, so we had a wetter than normal May, and now we're seeing a wetter than normal start to the month of June. My forecast is for this to continue through mid-June. Then we'll talk about what I'm thinking after that and um, monsoon season that comes after that. But let me show you what's happening in Colorado. I mean, this has been like a fire hose of moisture the last 48 hours. Um, so you can see it just coming, just flowing in here like a fire hose slamming up against the foothills, which are right here. And then you have the high mountains to the west. And so we're getting a little bit of lift off of that. But it's going to be a wet day um, and probably wet night. And we're going to see this pattern continue, especially with afternoon rain and thunderstorms this upcoming week in a number of areas. So I did write about it this morning. Let me take you over here. So a little bit of an update here on our wet June forecast. I've been preaching this now for over a week. Um, my bottom line is that May and June wetter than normal through June 15th. Um, and then I think the pattern gradually returns to normal precipitation through late June. And I think it'll be most pronounced June 20 through 30. You'll notice a little bit of drying. The pattern will not dry out totally, but it will return to what we consider normal precipitation or typically afternoon thunderstorms that pop up with the heating of the day. Um, and take a look at where we've been. This is remarkable. Precipitation the last 30 days. I'm going to take this full. So percent of average precip last 30 days. Where you see the blue and the purple shades, that's 150 to 400 percent of average. That's way above the norm. That's a lot of Colorado. That's parts of New Mexico, Arizona, a couple of parts of Utah, Nevada, uh, around Tahoe and Reno, and a lot of Montana, parts of Wyoming. So this pattern um, has really rained hard. And in, in some cases, this has been snow at higher elevations, but the last 30 days have been abnormally wet. And let me just show you Colorado. It's just been incredible. I'll take you in the zoomed in version of this last 30 days. In some cases, it's off the chart, three to 400 percent of normal over parts of the Denver metro area in the Front Range. And the Continental Divide East in general has seen a lot of precipitation over the last 30 days. So again, I think this is going to continue through probably mid-June, and then we'll start to see a return to more normal type of conditions. All right, let me take you back here. Now, this is really interesting. The effects of this on the drought have been significant. So I set up a little slider here. So this was the view on December 27th, the official drought monitor 2022. Look at all of the areas of red. Those are extreme levels of drought, and there are a lot of them. Now look what we've been able to do with winter precipitation and now all of this heavy May, June precip, those red areas are completely, almost completely gone across the West. We've seen huge improvements over large tracts of land. Uh, look at the Sierra. Look at that. There's nothing there now. Huge winter. Uh, huge winter in the Wasatch and in Colorado we've seen dramatic improvements, especially the last 30 to 40 days. So really happy to see that. So the question is, why is this happening? So it has to do with a couple of things, and I'm going to take this full so you can see it. So the first thing is the, the jet stream is, is critical in all of this. The subtropical jet, that southernmost jet for the, around that runs through the southern part of the U.S., has been strong. And it has been powerful and consistent the last 30 days. It has opened the door and it's grabbing these areas of moisture and all this extra water vapor off the Pacific and escorting it in. It wraps itself in these areas of low pressure and delivers it. And like I showed you on live radar, that area of low pressure in Utah is helping to produce all of this rainfall. And so we're just seeing this like conveyor belt run in on this subtropical jet. And I think that some of the contribution is coming from, we're, we're making a very hard transition out of La Nina. We've been in a triple dip La Nina for the last three years. 
um, and now we're making a very hard transition and push into El Nino. And sometimes when you make those transitions, you, you can tend to see a pattern set up like this. And again, it's somewhat reminiscent of what we saw midwinter with these atmospheric river surges into California for an entire month. We're just seeing this pattern with the subtropical jet really take shape. So the question is now, what do I expect? What's my forecast? Well, let me take you into my forecast. So this is from the climate forecast system. This runs through mid-June. And wherever you see the areas of dark green and especially the blue, those are the precip bullseye forecasts. Those are one to 300 or more percent of average. And that's a lot of the West. So it's gonna continue through mid-June. But after that, and this is what I was saying earlier, look at this, boom. The pattern changes. It doesn't dry up, but it turns drier. And it actually, in, in a lot of areas like Colorado, New Mexico, parts of Utah, Arizona, Wyoming, Montana, and even California, a lot of these places just return to more normal types of precipitation, afternoon showers and thunderstorms with less loaded conditions. We're not seeing these huge amounts of water vapor in the atmosphere just loaded and poised to deliver. This would be a more normal type of pattern. And again, we're just waiting on the monsoon at this point to engage. Typically that would happen in July and August. There are some indications that it could be a little bit late this year. So that's the way this is shaking out right now, guys. Thank you for tuning in here. Always appreciate it and take care.